Yo, how's it going, you guys? It's Marcus Saber. Have you ever bought a stock and later that same day or maybe the next day or the next day or two and the stock starts to go down in value? Well, that's definitely happened to me before. And if you want to know a strategy, basically, of what you could do to kind of hedge your bets a little bit, to basically capitalize on the stock maybe going down a little bit, this is the strategy that I'm implementing recently that really is a game changer of a stock basically going down a little bit. Well, if you want to know what that strategy is, I'm going to tell you right away right now so you can save some time. And if you want to listen about more of this video and this content, I'll talk about examples examples and strategies and the nuances involved with this strategy. So basically the strategy is selling a covered call instantly. So there are some requirements like buying 100 shares. And if that sounds interesting to you, well, let's get into this now. But before we get into this video, if you get any value from this content, don't forget to put a smash down on that like button. It really helps this content. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. And without further ado, so basically buying stocks and then selling a covered call instantly can help protect your downside a little bit. So an example for what I did recently, I bought Splunk for around $118, actually $118.26, but for the simple math purposes of this video, let's talk about $118, which is where I bought Splunk. And I didn't know if Splunk was gonna go down further. And I posted this, uh, screenshot right over here on StockTwits. So if you're interested in following me on StockTwits, you can follow me there. But anyway, this, this screenshot over here, basically, I saw this area. So I thought this was pretty interesting to buy Splunk. At the same time, we could tell that I didn't know if we we're going to go even further down and how far we might go down. So I bought Splunk for 118. But then again, we could consolidate for some time. Stocks take a while to kind of turn around and recover to the upside. So I turned around right then and there after buying Splunk for around $118 and sold a covered call with a strike of $124 expired that Friday. So basically, that essentially put my cost basis down 60 cents per share because we're talking about 100 shares. So instead of a $118 cost basis, it's essentially $117.40. So basically, if the stock price goes down a bit, I would still be in the green, essentially. And I could do this the next week and the next week as long as price is still low and consolidating. Basically, if the price continues to go down over the next week, I'll still be somewhat aggressive and continue to sell $124 strikes. If price starts to tick up a little bit, I'll start being more conservative and selling strikes way farther out now. Now that price is around 120 for Splunk, I'm selling covered calls way out of the money, like at 150 per share. My reward is less now. It's only like $10 versus it was $60 before. But now let's take a look at what happened in the last 20 days. And this post over here is from May 24th. So this is outdated information because at the time here, I was actually a little bit down, a little bit red on my capital appreciation for Splunk. It was negative 0.26 at that time. Right now it's positive because Splunk is over 20. But we can look here that my covered call premium that I gained was over 1.12%. Uh, over so I'm gaining that and that's only 20 days of owning this stock. So that is the idea of this strategy and how powerful basically it can hedge the downside and even outperform the capital appreciation because this is 20 days, 1.212% over the year. How much capital appreciation or capital, how much gains will I get from the covered call premium? And again, it will be a declining off a little bit because I'm going to be more conservative. I'm not going to be as aggressive as I was within the first couple of weeks when buying the stock. Well, what do you guys do about this? Do you guys do a similar strategy? Have you thought about this? And let me know if you guys thought this was interesting in the comment section down below. And if you can, if you haven't, definitely smash this like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And keep in mind that none of this is financial advice. This is just some random guy on YouTube drawing some stick figure lines on a chart talking to you guys.